Hello my friends, we'll meet again. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Abdurrahman and in today's video I'm going to show you how to control your smartphone with your damn PC and that is coming up. Okay guys, before we dip into the video, I would like to tell you that we, we mean me and some of my colleague youtubers are running a, a giveaway so if you love giveaway then links will be in description below you can go ahead and participate on that giveaway so we are giving a huge prizes who knows you will be the winner so go ahead and check out that giveaway and uh, let's dip into the video okay okay in order to access smartphone from PC all you have to do is go to play store and download an app by the name of air mode open up play store and search for air mode a i r m o r e after that search on search results click on the first option which is air mode file transfer download and install this app on your android smartphone after that open it air mode is actually used to transfer files between pc and mobile but in this video, we are going to use it to access our phone from our PC's web browser. And this app is also available for iOS devices. If you have any iOS device, then you can use it on your iOS device too. Okay, once the app is installed, just open it. Once it's open, first of all, make sure to connect your phone and PC to the same Wi-Fi network. After that, click on start. Okay, now it's activated successfully all you have to do is go to your computer's web browser and write down this ip address so let me go to on your web browser write down the ip address that is showing on your phone so mine one is http 192 dot blah 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 and the last digit is double three after that hit enter as you hit enter on your phone you will get a pop-up message which is requesting to connect the phone with your PC all you have to do is click on accept after that your phone will be connected with your PC through Wi-Fi network okay now you can see here's my phone's information on the left side there are several options that I'm going to tell you one by one so on, let's get start with tools when you click on tools there are several options that you can use and my favorite option from this this list is screen recorder you can record your phone screen directly from your computer's web browser and that is the best option and after that there there is an option by the name of reflector by using reflector you can share your phone screen to your PC in other words you can see your phones activated live on your computer's web browser so let me click on that after that it's asking for permission so I'm going to click on start now on my phone as I hit start now my phone screen is shared with my computer as you can see now whatever I'm going to do on my phone will be showing on my PC's web browser okay the other options are all about transferring files between PC and phone as I said the other options are all about transferring files between phone and PC so let's go to pictures on pictures you can see your phone's pictures directly from your computer's web browser and the best thing is you can see your pictures as a slideshow as you can see and if you want to transfer these pictures your phone's pictures to your computer just select the pictures you want to import or export after that click on download over here and if you want to send pictures from your computer to your phone just drag and drop the picture and it will be uploaded to your phone storage after that you have music option in music option you can play your phone's music directly from your computer so let me play some music you can see you can also change the music you can also import and export your music from your phone to computer or computer to your phone on your videos same thing on your contacts you can manage your contacts 
directly from your PC. If you want to add new contacts, just click on this button over here, add new contact. After that, you can create a new contact and it will be automatically added to your phone's contact folder. The next option is messages. You can manage your messages directly from your PC. If you want to send new message to someone or, or you can delete some messages from your phone, you can do it from here. Okay, after the message, the next option is apps. This is the great feature that I left on this app. With this option, you can manage your apps directly on your PC. Let's say if you want to install a new application on your smartphone, you can do it from your PC. All you have to do is drag and drop an app and it will be installed on your smartphone. And also you can transfer your phone's applications to your computer. All you have to do is select the app that you want to save on your computer then click on download and it will be downloaded to your computer. Okay, the next option is documents. You can also manage your documents by this option. If you want to import or export documents, you can do it by this option. And the last option is files. You can get access of your Android phones folders from this option. Okay, that's all for this app. I really love this app. You know, this is the best content management app out there and I really love it. Okay guys, thanks for watching my videos and if you like this video, please share this with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and also do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I always upload 600 videos on my YouTube channel and I see you next time till then keep watching my other videos and goodbye.